Hi boys and girls. In our math lesson today, we're going to do something really similar to yesterday with an extra twist. Okay, so we're going to get more practice with it, but we're going to have an extra twist in it. Today we're going to be comparing numbers. Now comparing numbers means taking two groups of numbers and thinking, hmm, which one's bigger, which one's smaller, or are they the same? That's what comparing means. Which one's bigger, which one's smaller, are they the same? And I'm going to teach you some words to go with that, okay? So the important words today are these words, greater than, greater means bigger. Say that with me, greater than, say it again, greater than, move your arms, greater than, or less than, say that with me, less than, smaller, less than. The other one is equal to. These are the signs that tell us what it means. So this one, this sign right here, going that direction, means greater than. This sign, going this way, means less than. And this sign, we've already seen that one before, that sign means equal to. Now when we do it, what we, what we do is we figure out, we have two numbers, and we have to think, hmm, which one is greater than the other? Which one is less than the other? Let's take two numbers to start. Let's take the number seven, which we know we can also show with dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's take the number two. One, two. Now we need to compare it in the middle right here. It's not a zero. That's a place where we're going to put one of these signs. And we have to think, which sign are we going to put there? Hmm. And something that always helps me remember is this symbol, it means greater than. And we can think of it like an alligator. Think of it like an alligator. There's his eye. Here's his big teeth. And he always wants to eat the biggest number. He's so, so hungry. Nom, 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 nom. He doesn't want just a little snack. He wants a big meal, so he wants to eat the biggest number. Okay? So with less than, we can also turn him into an alligator. Okay? Here's his eye. And here's his big teeth. Teeth, teeth, teeth. He's so hungry. Does he want the small number or does he want the big number? Which one do they want? The alligator? The alligator always wants the biggest number. So we have to think, well, which way? Is it going to go? Are we going to draw, are we going to draw the greater than symbol going to eat the seven? Or are we going to draw the less than symbol going to eat the two? Which one do you think? Which one does the alligator want? Does he want to eat the seven, which is bigger? Or does he want to eat the two? What do you think? I hope you said that he wants to eat the seven. He's so hungry, give me food. So he wants to eat the seven. So we draw it like that. Seven on this side. And the way we say it, is we use these words. We read it like this. We say seven is greater than two. You see that? Pretty simple. We know that this symbol going this way says greater than. Why don't you say that with me? Ready? Go. Seven is greater than two. Okay? Now, we have a sentence here that's a little bit bigger. We want to make sure we um, tell, tell why we think that. So we say, I know seven is greater than two because... How do we know seven is greater than two? I would say because... I see a lot more dots than with two. That's easy. Whatever explanation works for you, how you know seven is greater than two. Let's try another one to make sure we understand this. Let's try it with the number four. One, two, three, four. And the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we remember in the middle, we're going to put one of these symbols. Okay? Which one do you think is going to go in there? Which one is the alligator going to eat? Is the alligator going to eat the four? Or is the alligator going to eat the nine? Remember, Mr. Alligator's hungry, give me food. Which one is he going to eat? Hmm. I hope you said nine. I think he's going to eat nine. I think he's going to eat nine. 
So, we put our symbol this way, and we read our sentence. Four is greater, or oops, whoops, not greater than, greater than goes that way. Which way? Four is less than nine. Let's do our whole sentence, though, with the word because in it. Okay, here we go. I know four is, it's less than, less than nine because when I think about this, Nine is really, really close to ten. It's almost ten, which is a big number. But four is still pretty small. It's not very close to ten. So that's how I know that four is less than nine. Okay, we're going to need this information for our math game today. Okay, so keep this in your brain. And if you ever need to come back to it right here, you can always move the video back here so that you remember what these words are. Okay, you're going to need the same tools that you did yesterday, the same math tools that you did for our other math lesson. You need your number cards that are 1 through 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Only those. You're going to need those number cards. You need a pencil. You're going to need some paper. And you're going to need your counters, all of those things. So stop and go get those if you don't have them yet because you're going to need them. All right, so I want you to watch carefully. We're gonna play a very similar game to yesterday where we use our counters and we have to draw and figure out, we have to take a number and we have to figure out what it really means and how many groups of 10 and what it is like in expanded form. And then there's a little twist to it. So watch carefully, okay? Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do today that's different than yesterday, instead of having my paper up and down like this, I'm gonna turn it sideways, okay? I'm gonna turn it sideways so the long way is this way and right in the middle, I am going to draw a little bit of a line with that circle like we did just now with the chart. This circle is where we're going to put one of these symbols. We remember these symbols. The symbol is greater than, say that with me, greater than, less than, equal to. Right in this circle is where we're going to have to put one of those symbols. The other thing that we need to write at the bottom is we need to have our sentence just like we did earlier. So our sentence says, I know something is something, this is gonna be greater than, less than, or equal to, than a number because, okay? So we have, this is how we set up our paper. We have room for our drawings here, but right here is where the symbol goes, and here's our sentence. Can you get your paper set up like that right now? Pause and set up your paper just like this. Now, just like yesterday, I'm going to turn over two cards. One, two. And I'm going to write the number down. I'm going to choose one side that I want to write it on. I guess I'll write it on this side. This side will be for the number 43. Now, the first thing I need to do is take my counters and figure out how many groups of 10 and how many ones there are. Okay, so I decided to put my tens, my groups of 10, in a little bit of a different shape than yesterday, than the, other, than the other lesson. Instead of in a circle, I decided to put them in a line. But I want you to see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's a group of 10. Here's another one, two, three, four of them. Just like I see right here, there's a 4 in this number, 43, which makes me know that they are going to be four groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, how many ones are there? What do you think? The number is 43. Mm, I think there are three number, three ones. One, two, three. So four groups, whoopsies. Four groups of 10 and three ones. Now I need to draw it like I did yesterday. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my place value chart just like yesterday. Okay, with my tens on one side and my ones on the other. And now I need to have my groups of 10. I had one long group of 10 right here, two, three, four. I had four groups of 10. I know that each one of these is 10, 10, 10. You can write it with letters or with numbers. And then how many ones that I have left for the number 43? I had three, one, two, three. Okay, now I need to put it in expanded form. Expanded form is with the numbers with the plus. So our number is 43 equals something. How many are right here? 10, 20, 30, 40. 43 equals 40 plus how many ones? One, two, three. There we go. Now I'm done with the first number. Now here is the twist. Now this side, 
we're gonna take the same number. We're just gonna switch their spots. Beep, 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 beep. Switch. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna write the number. It's not 43 anymore. What is it? 34. Now it's 34. And the first thing I need to do is take my place value chart with my counters and figure out how many groups of 10 and how many ones there are. All right, with our number 34, I kept my counters in lines again for the groups of 10. Remember that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And how many groups of 10 are there? With the number 34, I know this is 30, which is 10, 20, 30. I think that there are going to be three groups of 10. Let's count. 10, 20, 30. There are 33 groups of 10. And how many ones? Oh, this is our clue right here. How many ones? One, two, three, four. Let's count up to make sure it gets up to 34. 10, 20, 30, 1, 32. Whoops. 31, 32, 33, 34. Awesome. Now I need to draw that. So I'm gonna to go to this side and I'm gonna draw it just like I did before. Okay, here are my tens and my ones. And on this side, how many groups of 10 did I have? How many groups of 10? I had three groups of 10. One, two, three. And I'm gonna write, just draw a 10 in there, 10. And how many ones? There were four, one, two, three, four. Now, I'm gonna do it in expanded form. This number is 34. 34 equals, what does it equal? How many tens are there? 10, 20, 30. Oh, it's 30 plus how many ones? One, two, three, four plus four. Okay, now this is where our knowing the greater than and less than equal to comes right in the middle. So we have to figure out hmm, which one of these symbols is gonna go right in the middle. Which one do you think? Do you think it's gonna be our greater than where the alligator eats the 43? Do you think it's gonna be our less than where the alligator eats 34? Or do you think it's gonna be equal to because they're the same? What do you think? Is the alligator, in, is it greater than the alligator eats 43? Or less than the alligator eats 34? Or is it equal to? You know what, when I'm looking here, I see that there are 10, 20, 30, 40. Look how many tens there are. There are four groups of 10. But on this side, there are only three groups of 10. So I think that that tells us that the 43 is bigger. So I think the alligator will want to eat the 43. So I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Now I need to say my sentence at the bottom. I know 43 is and we say this, how do we say this one? When the alligator is going that way, we say it greater than. I know 43 is greater than 34 because there are four groups of 10 in 43, but only three groups of 10 in 34. Now I'm gonna turn my paper over and I'm gonna play it again. I am done with these two cards. Now I'm gonna turn two more cards over, one, Two. But I can't forget that I need to set up my piece of paper. My piece of paper is all set up and here's my number, 51. Now the first thing I need to do, see how many groups of, of tens there are and how many ones. I'm thinking already that there's probably gonna be five groups of 10 and only one one, but let's check and see. Okay, here are my groups of 10. Let's count, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Ooh, it got us up to that five, that 50. And then we just needed one more to get to 51. 10, 20, 30, 40, 51. Now it's time to draw it. So let's do the drawing. All right, here's the drawing that I did. Here's my place value chart with tens and ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I did five groups of ones, of tens, five groups of tens, and one left over. Okay, expanded form. We know that it's 51 equals something. Hmm, how much is in the tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Plus, how many ones? Plus one. Okay, time to switch the cards. We're gonna switch them. Ooh, it's not 51 anymore. What number is it? It's 15. Okay, my first job 
is to set it up on my place value chart with my counters to figure out how many groups of 10. How many groups of 10 do you think there are gonna be in this number? Not five anymore, how many? What do you think? Mm, with this number 15, I see this one here, which makes me think there's only gonna be one group of 10. Let's see, 10, and then how many more do we need to get up to 15? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whoa, look at that, here's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I need to draw it. Okay, so here am I, is my one group of 10 and my five ones, one, two, three, four, five. Now I need to do expanded form. My number is 15 equals, how many are in here? 10, just 10, plus how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, plus five ones. Okay, so now I need to come back to my greater than, less than, equal to. Which symbol do we think is gonna go in the middle? Do we think it's gonna be greater than with the alligator eating this side? Do we think it's gonna be less than with the alligator eating the 15? Or is it equal to that they're the same? Hmm, what do you think? Remember the alligator's super hungry and always wants to eat the bigger number. Which one goes in the middle? Is it this one or this one or this one? Ooh, I hope you said this one. This is what I'm thinking. I think the alligator really wants to eat 51. Now let's do our sentence. I think 51 is, what does that symbol mean? That symbol means greater than. I think 51 is greater than 15 because, oh, for this one, this one has one, two, three, four, five groups of 10, and this one only has one group of 10. That's what makes me think 51 is greater than 15. Now, something I forgot to show you on the other side, but what I want you to do is you're gonna finish writing this. So we're gonna fill it in. I think 51 is, we're gonna use these words, greater than, I think 51 is greater than, which number? 15. 15 because, let's finish writing it, there are five tens in 51 and only, oh no, I'm running out of room, and only one ten in 15. Okay, so you have to play this game two times. You need to have like this, look at this, one, two, that's one set. Then you have to flip it over and you have to do it again. One, two, that's another set. So you have to play the game two times. Here's one time, two times. And then when you're done, you're gonna choose one side that you wanna tell me about, take a picture, and then you need to read your sentence to me, okay? You need to read your whole sentence to me. That's why I wanted to show you what it looked like written. Read it to me, okay? I can't wait to see your work.